Hi, I am Mari and today I'm going to talk about palettes and different ways to create them. Also, how to share them with other illustrators. So here in colors, when you click on the top, you have the view of different palettes. As you can see, I have many because of different projects I work with. And I do share for free all my palettes in my Gumbrand account. So I leave the link below. And you can download them and then just import it by clicking the plus button, new from file, and and then from there you just find it in your drive or your iPad, whatever you save it, okay? So that's one way to import palettes. But how about creating them and how about sharing them? Okay, uh, let's create one from scratch here. Let's create one from scratch here, new palette. It's empty. So I'm gonna go to Harmony and I want to create like a soft color palette. So I will go like this soft, like pastel color. And when I'm in that color, I will touch here and then select the other color and the analogous color. I'm going here with the analogous um, combination or Harmony, but you can go to any of the one you like. Okay, I'm gonna choose another like pastel color here and create a pastel color palette and then like a similar here and I have the greens let me go like for some yellow I had some ish here let's create this one and maybe some pink and you get the point right just click and click and then you have your palette this is like a very soft palette if you want this palette just let me know in the comments so another way is go here to palettes and import from camera yes you can just click it and uh, import from what your camera is seeing that would be nice if the camera of this ipad is actually not that good so if the uh, the camera in your ipad is good just go around with your ipad and take pictures with procreate but i just find it useful when i want exactly something but i don't have all the time my ipad with me on hand when i want to take a color from something so what i do is like i take a picture with my phone because it's the one that is with me and just insert from photos Right now I have in photos this exact uh, same drawing I did here. This was um, just practicing my uh, oil brush set and then here new in photos. And then I take that picture and here it is. As you can see, it's the one I have here because I wanted to um, see if uh, the colors change. And as you can see, actually something has changed. The order of the colors and here I have some black. So I guess, is that I had some border, like a black border when I did the screenshot. So this one, now you can share it in different ways. You can share the whole palette with other people who use Procreate. That is what I do and that's why I share for free all my uh, palettes in my uh, account. But also you can see it as cards and you can share and we're gonna teach you how to share this value, the hex value. Because with this value, you can go to any computer and put this value in and then start drawing with that palette, that exact same color in the computer. But by get, like to get all the colors, then you have to touch all of these and get one by one the hex value. What I do instead is I go here, palettes, cards, and then like select a proportion I want by, by, by creating a screenshot. Here, we kind of clean the screenshot. Let's say I want all the purples here, right? And let's click done, save to photos. And then I'm gonna go to this website, brownfolder.com. I'm not affiliated with them, just use the website. I actually previously selected this and let's, let's do this, let's do it again. So brandfolder.com, link in the description. I'm not related to them, it's just that I use them. And here from photo library, 
Oh, what happened? Oh, okay, here, the last one we took, use this one, upload. Now we're gonna see the hex values here on the bottom. There you go. And now you can share these hex values. There are some differences. For example, this one actually doesn't look like this one, but you can go around and check them. I found this uh, very useful. And also let's try with the full image to see what happens. Let's get this and let's put the full image we used before, like this one, to see what happens. I think I have a black line here on the bottom and because I was moving the drawing around. Okay, yes, I, I got like black, I think. It spots the black, uh, full black and full white immediately, but it gets like the purples mostly because the, the drawing gets mostly in this area. So if I want, want the green ones, then I have to go back to Procreate and get a screenshot of the green ones or go one by one, like select here, go to value and got it here, okay? Also, if you want to work with someone and gave you the hex value, like for example, I, I did a project recently, let me go back here. I did a pro project recently and I only uses these two colors. So the way um, I created this was the same way I created this palette in the sense that is click here, create new palette, but then you go to the value, put 000, zero, zero <laughs> that is uh, black anyway. And then when you have it, when you have the color, then you just click here. Let's change here, like red, only red is FF000. Zero, zero, zero. And like yellow, then you have the other one and so on. So you can actually write here uh, the one you, will, you need and it will pop up on the top and then you just click and it's inside the palette. To erase the palette, because I'm not gonna use this one, just click here and delete. And that's it. This is the tutorial for today. If you have any questions, just leave it in the comment. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.